be rewarding your dog for bad behavior and not even know it. Becky has more in this morning's My Pet. Becky McClintock with Service Dogs, Inc. As a trainer, one of the most common mistakes I see people make is reinforcing behavior that they don't like. To reinforce means to strengthen, so you're making that behavior stronger anytime you reinforce it. So you always want to be thinking that you're training all the time, not just when you're at training class or when you decide to do a training session with your dog. So when your dog's doing something you don't like, you need to think, what is my dog trying to get out of this? What does my dog want? And then you can think, instead, I'm going to have my dog do a behavior that I do want to earn whatever it is they want. So for example, let's talk about jumping up. If your dog jumps on you, what is your dog wanting? Most of the time, the answer to that question is that they're wanting attention. So if you look down at your dog, even if you push your dog away or shoo your dog away and yell at them, you're giving your dog attention, exactly what they want. You're reinforcing that behavior and making it stronger. Instead, you want to ignore that. You want to turn around, just walk away from your dog. And then when your dog's being calm and doing something you do want, that's when you can go over and really pet on your dog and give them the attention that they're wanting. Another behavior people don't like is barking or whining. So when your dog's barking or whining, think, what is my dog wanting? Maybe they want attention again. They could want food. Do they want to play? Do they want to go outside? Maybe get out of their crate? Make sure you're not giving your dog what they want after they bark. Instead, what do you want that dog to do? Think about that. So you could have your dog sit or lay down to come out of their crate or to earn food. You could also have the dog maybe learn to bring you their toy when they want to play instead of barking at you. Finally, people are always asking me how to get their dog to stop pulling. And I always see people moving forward when the dog's pulling them. This is just not a good idea. If the dog's pulling, that means they want to go forward. You're giving the dog what they want for something that you don't want. Make sure you're only moving forward when that dog's on a nice loose leash. So for more information, visit us at kxan.com.